Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. My name is D Free. Here today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the brand new Ginyu Force Sizzling Summer Boot Camp event. I hope you guys enjoy. Of course, hit that subscribe as always if you are new for more content. So I'm incredibly excited about the fact that we do have new EX Ginyu Force members that are coming into the game, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. Also, stay tuned. I'm gonna go ahead and later on today, hopefully today, if not early tomorrow, we will have a guide for this event to kind of give you guys some of the best practices. It's not too different from most other events as far as like grind is concerned, but I do want to give you guys some of the best practices. So that being said, again, all the characters on this uh, list of characters here, we're going to go ahead and review as well. They are all free units, so they're all exchangeable from the exchange shop, of course. And of course, again, 100% free units that you guys will be able to pick up to bolster your Frieza Force slash Ginyu Force teams. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and start off with the man, Captain Ginyu. One day, hopefully, we do get that Ginyu Goku. We did see it in the background of this card's art as well. So, Ginyu here is a support type unit. Uh, for the record, are they all going to be support types? Uh, defense type? Okay. I was going to say, like, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow they all made them, like, support types. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on. It's all this type of stuff, I'm not really going to do this because I don't know how much exchanges are possible right now. I kind of feel like one or two, probably, but I don't know. But, anyways, we'll just go ahead and take a look at the main ability here. So draws the Awakened Arts card body chain. So he has a purple card. We don't see uh, purple cards very often, but he has that. Draws the Awakened Arts card body chain next. Inflicts all enemies uh, and allies. Oh, okay. With no switching for 10 count. So this one here, it's this is them quote unquote balancing it. We'd have to look at what body change does. So we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Cancels enemy attribute upgrades on hit. Wow, this is one of the best things that this can do. Like this is one of the best things you can have happen for you in this game. Because so many units get start they're starting out bonuses for when they enter the the battlefield. Also, so many characters get switch bonuses and just stuff like that. You can take all that off for the most part, except for the ones that say they can't be canceled. That's literally one of the best things you can do. So that's amazing. So I get why they are trying to quote unquote balance it, but they inflict all allies with no switching. But on the on the plus side, if you can get the opponent in a compromising position, they themselves can't switch out either. So you're essentially able to body change with whoever you want. So like you can, uh, if they've done their vanish, the, the real smart way to use this is if you bait their vanish or get a vanish out of them in some way, just do this in the middle of a combo, uh, and then you'll just lock, for example, like Super Vegito and just take it all off. Well, to be honest, Super Vegito might not be the best indicator because he stacks buffs like a madman, but regardless, you can take it all off. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Unique Ability. So, when this character enters the battlefield, the following effects occur if all three battle members are Frieza Force. Okay, I like that. I like that. Uh, plus 35% to damage inflicted for 20 counts. Plus 30% to own key recovery for 20 counts. And the following effects also occur if all three battle members are Ginyu Force. Okay. Minus 5 to own strike and blast arts cost. Oh, that's really good. And draws a special arts card next activates once. Uh, so, uh, special arts card is green card. It doesn't say special move. That will be blue. Special arts is the green card. Uh, so, that being said... I want to point out that Frieza Force uh, has access to some really good units. Most recently, they picked up some uh, some more buffers, so there's that. They also do have Golden Frieza as well, who came out, and he is actually on the banner as well right now. So Frieza Force is looking pretty good now, actually. Uh, and also, again, you don't necessarily need to use all Ginyu Force, but if you do use a Ginyu Force character, they, of course, do have the Frieza Force tag, so you can get all these cumulative bu uh, buffs here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second unique. Applies the following effects to allied Frieza Force characters when this character switches to standby. Oh, does he do a switch bonus? Plus 15% of damage inflicted for 15 counts. Wow, that's good. Uh, plus 20% of key recovery. Also applies the following effects to Ginyu Force characters. They get another 15%, and they get a 15% critical rate. Oh, this is really good. Just, again, 15% is nothing crazy, but again, if you can go ahead and switch from Ginyu into, like, just for example, Golden Frieza, this is, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy viability there. Also, key recovery, and then if it's a Ginyu Force member, plus 15% more damage, and then they also get a higher crit rate. We go to take a look at the uh, special move here. Uh, inflicts enemies to actually downgrade, minus 15% to key recovery on hit for 10 counts. That's good. Uh, also, the green card here increases arts card draw speed level by 1 for 10 counts. And plus 30% to allies key recovery for 10 counts. This is actually, this screams sidestep. This is very good. Very, very good. Anytime you can manipulate your card draw speed level, that's very good in this game. Um, but also on a green card, that's not very common. If, I don't know. I, there might be just a few units that can even do that that way. Uh, but Freeze of Force boost. So he is just regular blast attack for Freeze of Force, which is still pretty solid. But he picks up blast and strike. This is innately one of the best Freeze of Force the abilities in the game. 
Double attack combinations are, in my opinion, the best of the abilities in the game overall anyway. So that's very good, Ginyu. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Raccoon here. So Raccoon now is a defense type. His uh, main ability restores allies' health by 15%. Restores allied Ginyu Force character's health by 10%. Also cancels attribute downgrades. So if it's a Ginyu Force character, they'll heal 25% and get their downgrades removed. I don't need to really mention how good it is to just get a fresh slate pretty much, but if it's not a Ginyu Force character, they'll still heal 15% of their HP. So he himself, by the way, will always heal himself 25% and the attribute downgrades will get nullified. So awesome viability and versatility with that as far as Freeza Force and Ginyu Force mesh is concerned. We're going to take a look at the ultimate, or ultimate, excuse me, unique. <laughs> the following effects occur if own health is 50% or below after enemy's attack is over. Is over. Okay, I was going to say cover. Okay, so... If he gets hit, like, stuck in a combo, and he winds up below 50%, he gets 30% of strike damage inflicted. It inactivates one time and gradually recovers own health. So he has a regen ability. I don't know. What is that number? It's a static number. I think it's, like, 2,000 or 3,000, something like that, that you get every other second, pretty much. So it's good, right? It's good. But if he goes above 50%, pretty much, and he uh, dips below again, he's not going to get this again. It's not going to happen again. It activates one time. Uh, but it is not, like, count restricted, so that's good. Anyways... Tough body. The following effects occur per Frieza Force battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Reduces his damage received by 10% and plus 10% to strike damage inflicted. So he's a defense unit uh, with a melee secondary focus. Also does some very good defensive things. Has some built-in uh, damage reduction. Also has some uh, healing, 25% for himself specifically. Uh, removes downgrades as well. Also he has uh, a built-in um, regen ability here when he gets low on HP. So looking pretty good there to be honest. Not not crazy great or anything like that, but looking looking pretty good. I, he has the makings of a solid EX card or a solid unit in general. I don't want to say EX card because that's a negative connotation because some of these EXs are better than a lot of Sparkles. Anyways, minus one arts card draw speed level uh, for the enemy whenever... Oh, okay. When he hits them with the eraser gun, he actually is minus one arts card draw speed level. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. <laughs> Uh, green card inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 50% to health restoration. Um, this, so any character that can heal, uh, this is good versus them, of course, as you would imagine. 50% minus is just crazy. Uh, like, I mean, we can isolate a character like legendary finish Gohan. He heals. Well, he's going to heal 50% less. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that. And this guy's double defense. All right, Raccoon. Uh, that's, uh, that's another one of the really good Z abilities you can have. All right, Raccoon's looking really cool. All right, so we have but no, Berta. Look, Berta's right here. I might as well do Berta now. We'll do Jace later. <laughs> Berta. All right, let's go ahead and move on. He is a melee type. Okay, draws a special move arts card next. So he draws his blue card. Okay, again, special move. Uh, plus 35% to strike damage inflicted for 20 counts as well. And plus 50% to own vanish engage recovery for 10 counts. Draws a blue card, gets a strike damage bonus, and also gets a faster ability to go ahead and vanish for 10 counts. 50% quicker vanish speed. Hold on. Did Ginyu Force characters have specific equips that came out way back? But yeah, I was going to say, I feel like he has an equip that buffs his uh, gauge. But the way they just kind of ruined this equip was making it blast focused. He really wanted to be strike focused, but he still has access to something like that. So... This guy is going to be able to vanish and then vanish again pretty quickly afterwards, at least for a 10 timer count window. Uh, so anyways, the following effects occur when this character evades the enemy's attack with a vanishing step. Ooh, okay. So when he evades the attack with a vanishing step, he increases his card draw speed level by one for five counts only, but that's fine because it's, it it's not restricted. And plus 20% to special move damage inflicted, which activates three times. So the special move damage uh, only activates three times, but the arts card draw speed level it should activate any number of times because it doesn't have a period. It has a period there. Um, wow. Okay. If you can cheese his, if you can cheese his vanish and just keep doing it, he is going to be a sidestep monster. <laughs> Evolving effects occur per Freeze of Force battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 15% to strike damage and minus five to own special move arts card. Okay. He has special move damage bonus. He draws a special move. He even gets minus five to its cost. His special move better be really good. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, Birder's nuts. Birder's nuts. Um, restores his vanishing gauge by 40%. This is different than re uh, recovery speed. So the recovery speed means that while he's just standing idly and doing stuff that would allow for the vanish to come back, it comes back 50% quicker. This 
just automatically gives it another 40%. Say it's 60% healed uh, automatically already, excuse me, because you, again, were standing idle or whatever. And it was almost there, but not quite. But if you can land the mock kick, like towards the end of a combo or whatever the case is, this will put you right back to max where you can vanish again. And the vanish again does give you another card draw speed level. This is very, very good. Like overall, like tie-in. This is... Honestly, this is so far the most impressive unit I've seen, other than Ginyu. The thing about Ginyu is, when it comes to switch bonuses and stuff like that, you have to kind of uh, quantify those units a little bit differently, because he is a support type. He's meant to do different things, but Birder is very, very, very good. So, <laughs> I'm very impressed by Birder. Um, green card, plus 20% to strike damage, and plus 30% to own key recovery as well. You know, I might still run that equip on him. I'm not one that likes to do the whole, oh, I'm going to run an equip that allows for me to buff the stat that they don't get primary focus on like he's a melee unit he wants melee bonuses he gets melee bonuses in his kit so i'm gonna go ahead and focus on blast for the equip i don't do that because i'd rather just focus on what the unit is good at versus trying to bring something that they're subpar at up to average i'd rather just be very good at one thing especially because he holds double strike cards yeah i don't need i don't need blast but i'll, I'll still probably do it just for that vanish man <laughs> uh but he's very good jace jace yeah okay so jace is a ranged unit Plus 40% of the blast damage inflicted for 15 counts. By the way, Jace is going to be very good alongside Golden Frieza, who's also a blast unit for that matter. Changes strike cards to blast cards. Oh, he changes the cards with his main ability. That's cool. All right, so first unique. The following effects occur per Frieza Force battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 15% to blast damage inflicted. Also, we go ahead and take a look at the, what the rest of the man can do. Is uh, plus 10% to own key recovery as well. And minus 2 to his blast arts cost. So, again, blast cards going cheaper. Even if it's by one key or whatever, it's good. Just because those are so expensive anyway. As far as, like, chaining in cards and doing stuff like that. So, it's always nice to have that regardless. Two is not that much, but you can actually notice it. Also, 10% key recovery isn't that much, but it's helpful. And then blast damage inflicted as well. But also, it's per. So, it's actually just double these numbers. Um, I, Okay, hold on. This is battle member. I think this actually includes himself. So, I always get confused with the battle member stuff. I think this actually includes himself, which would be 45, 30, and 6. So, correct me if I'm mistaken. It could be either just the other two or just him, but I'm pretty sure it includes himself. Plus 30% to own key recovery per defeated battle member. Also increases uh, arts. Wait, wait, what? Okay, so 30% key recovery per defeated. So that goes up to 60. That's really, really fast. Um, but also you're trading these off. So it's either or because this one's defeated and then this one is just when they're just battle members. Also increases arts card draw speed level by one per defeated Frieza Force battle member. So he's screaming sidestep here. There it is. Anytime you have a key recovery and uh, arts card draw speed level bonus, they're, they're telling you to sidestep. Uh, because you'll be able to chain in one, potentially two more cards. Um, major impact damage. Inflicts the enemy should actually downgrade minus 50% advantage gauge recovery. Oh, okay. I talked about how that's really good to have a bonus on. It's also very bad to have a... Oh, it's bad for the opponent. This is very good to have. But it means that they're not going to be able to van uh, vanish anywhere near as quickly. So, that's good. Green card is plus 20% of damage inflicted. Just general damage. Okay. By the way, I didn't look at the Z abilities. Uh, blast attack and defense. I'd, I'd imagine he's strike attack and defense. Um, yeah, he is. Okay. Man, the, at 7 star, these numbers are going so high. 30% of Freezer Force. Oh my goodness, man. This this is going to be crazy when you can actually get them to 7 star eventually. Because they're in the, the, the data's in there for 7 star. I don't know if you can get it now, but <laughs> eventually at least you'll be able to get them. And then everybody's favorite. We'll take a look at Guldo, another ranged unit here. Draws the Awakened Arts card Bind next. Also shortens allies sub count by 2. So shortening sub count is one of the top five, in my opinion, best things a unit can do in this game. Y2 isn't that much, but it does help. It's actually very noticeable uh, whenever you have shorter switch time because switching is one of the most important things you can do because it's one of your main forms of defense in the game. Also, we got to scroll down. When this character enters the battlefield, the following effects occur uh, if a freezer force other than this character is a battle member. See, like they, quant they do stuff like this. Other than this character, that makes me think that... Um, when they say stuff like that, it makes you think that the other bonuses do include the character. Uh, but whatever, we'll have to see. Uh, plus 35% to own key recovery, and plus 35% to own vanishing recovery. Oh, okay. I didn't expect him to have a vanish recovery uh, speed up. Wow, okay. Um, by the way, each of these Ginyu Force characters did have their own specific equips from the Ginyu Force event that came out a long, long time ago. I haven't been quantifying that in this, but do keep in mind that they have equips. Like, this is a double attack and HP booster. They, Ginyu Force had some of the best equip items overall. They even awoken this, which is 
really, really good. This is a triple attack booster. <laughs> Gaming Forest has access to some good stuff, man. Um, but I'm not really talking about that too much here. Uh, but yeah, so we're back over here to uh, Guldo. So Guldo also has a second unique here. The following effects occur when changing cover. Draws a special arts card next and shortens own sub count. Whoa! He shortens his own count just for entering the battlefield. He draws a green card too. Um, shortens his own sub count. Okay. All right, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, his strike card actually has poison built in. Oh boy, here we go. His blast card is a paralysis impact. Okay, so the only difference with having it built in is that you're not actually gonna have it put into your deck to where any unit can do it. He has a built-in paralysis blast card and a built-in poison strike card. Awesome. Only unit in the game that I think that can do both of those is, uh, what is it, B-Pan? And other than that, the only other one I can think of off the top of my head is Evil Boo. I believe hold both of those cards innately as, like, ones that go into your deck. But I think those are the only characters that can do both of those things at once. Oh, Evil Boo only holds one. So, little stuff like that. Uh, I think there might be one more, but that's pretty much it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down. 30% chance to inflict paralysis, yada, yada. Major pierce damage on the special move, and a 40% chance to inflict heavy bleed on hit. I believe heavy bleed is the static minus 6,000 every other second, so very good chip damage. Green card, it inflicts all enemies with, with two sub counts? Huh? Okay, so all enemies get plus two sub count. Okay, that's what I'm going to read that as, which is crazy. I talked about it in the video recently with Future Gohan doing something similar, the upcoming Future Gohan. If you can make your opponent take even one count faster, that throws off a large portion of what they'd like to do. All right, plus 10% chance for own blast arts to inflict paralysis. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. And every blast he does is actually a paralysis blast, as opposed to just having it in your deck and seeing it every so often. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what the heck? What the? What? 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 What is this? What is this? What is this? Wait. Find inflicts the enemy with heavy immobilize. What even is heavy immobilize? Does it last for longer? Is that what that is? But it's a it's a it's a mobilize for the whole arena. <laughs> All right, I'm done. At that point, I uh, he's a health booster for he's a force. That's crazy good. All right, I'm done. I'm, I can't. I, I can't. What? What? This face, man. This is the face of a troll. He's gonna paralyze you and immobilize you nonstop. Why is this character? This character seems like he's gonna be really annoying. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you also enjoyed Goldo's face. Have an awesome day, everyone, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.